it takes a spark to get your motor running. The spark plug was invented in the 19th century to fire the internal combustion engine. There are usually several in an engine and they fit into the cylinder head. When the plugs are all working, it means your trip will have a good start. The spark plug produces what looks like a mini lightning bolt to ignite the gas that runs your car. To make spark plugs, they blend alumina ceramic powder and other ingredients with water. After a thorough mixing, the milky looking brew drains into a big dryer, which converts it back to powder. The powder funnels into a mold. It closes to press the powder into the shape of spark plug insulators, and a binding ingredient in the mix helps them keep their shape. An automated system loads them onto mandrels that spin the ceramic insulators against a grinding wheel. It grinds them into a more graduated shape and does a very precise job. These ceramic shapes are quite fragile and they'll need to be baked in order to harden. But first, a tester double checks the measurements with a laser tool. Then they bake in this very hot kiln until they're extremely hard. This takes up to 24 hours. While the insulators are in the kiln, tools ram steel through shaped cavities called dies. They're essentially punching out shells that will be the spark plug casings. Other tools bore into the upper part of the shells to give them a hexagonal profile. This will later enable mechanics to wrench them into a vehicle's engine block. More tooling contours the spark plug shells, and the result is quite a transformation. A conveyor now shuttles the spark plug shells forward as nickel alloy wire unwinds overhead. An automated welder fuses the wire to the shells. This wire will serve as the spark plug's ground electrode, and it will be bent towards a firing electrode later. The space between them will contain the spark. Ridged rollers carve threads in the steel shells so they can be screwed into the engine block. The shell then gets a protective, silvery finish. The ceramic insulators are now out of the kiln and it's time to roll on the insignia. The insulators then brush by a rubber wheel that coats them with a glaze as a protective finish. They install center electrodes in the insulators, and powder funnels into them to fill the space around the electrodes. The powder is a mix of glass and metal. Automated prongs compress it in the insulators. Grippers then insert the terminal studs into the insulator. The stud will act as the electrical connection to the center electrode. The insulators now go into an oven. The black powder melts around the studs and center electrodes to seal them inside the insulator cavity. Nozzles squirt oil onto the metal shells to lubricate them. The insulators funnel into the grip of robots which install them into the shells. They slide in easily because of the lubrication job. Tools called shrinking punches apply an electrical current to each shell to fit it tightly to the insulator. A robot positions the assembly right side up with the side electrode protruding, then bends that side electrode towards the center one. The robot then collects the spark plugs and sends them down the line. It's time for an inspection. She looks for imperfections in the glaze, the inscription, and the nickel plating. She measures the space between the two electrodes before sending them over to the packaging department. And now, these spark plugs are ready to keep your engine firing on all cylinders.